welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been like, oh my gosh, probably two and a half months since I've vlogged in real time, maybe longer. It feels like it's been forever. I have really missed you guys. And of course the day that I decide I'm ready to film again, it is like the rainiest day we've ever had. It's so gloomy. I just had to turn on this overhead light, which I hate doing. Um, I know you guys probably don't care, but because there's like no light in my house because it's so dark and gloomy and rainy today. I am making my morning beverages right now. Today is actually the first day of the little like 75 hard Valley Girl edition. We're doing a podcast ver the podcast version of um, 75 hard. We just made it up, but it's 75 days of a few different things and it's a customizable list. Maybe I can put the list right here um, or you guys can go on Instagram to see it or whatever, but today's the first day of doing that. And so one of the things that we're doing every day is adding three things to our morning or nighttime routine. It's the same three things for the whole 75 days. You don't add three new things every single day. Someone commented, they're like, that's literally 250, I don't remember the number, new things. And I was like, no, 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 no. Three things that you stay consistent with, either for your morning or nighttime routine, whatever one like you wanna work on. So for me, uh, my morning routine is has been just basically non-existent. So that's what I'm trying to work on personally. The thing I wanted to add, one of the things was making breakfast and like my morning beverages or whatever at home on definitely the weekdays at the very least. So I am making a matcha right now, which I haven't been um, really drinking a lot of caffeine, honestly, during my pregnancy. My first trimester, my doctor didn't really want me to drink caffeine for like IVF stuff. And then, and I didn't drink caffeine really during IVF either. And then I just was sick and I wasn't really in the mood for caffeine. So, now that I'm starting to feel, oh cool, my freaking camera's dying, what? But now that I'm starting to feel better, I'm more in the mood for like, I just have more of my appetite back and everything. So anyway, today is has been a good morning because I woke up, I went to Pilates for the first time in months. I took a stretch class a little bit ago um, and that was like my first time back, but it wasn't a workout class, it was just like a little, more of an easy like stretch situation. I just went to my first like actual Pilates workout class in months because I didn't do, again, Pilates during IVF really. I tried to, but then once I did my transfer, I wasn't supposed to work out, whatever. So it has been so, so long. I feel so out of shape, um, but it was nice to know that I still had somewhat of like my form. Like when I was there, I was like, okay, this feels familiar. familiar. I have like muscle memory. So that felt really good to do that this morning. And I made some avocado toast earlier. Oh, I'm always out of breath. I'm gonna make a few different drinks. If my camera dies, I'm gonna just put my phone right there because I'm ready to film. And of course I forgot to charge it. Like, what am I doing? I thought it was for sure charged because I haven't used the camera in like months. I just frothed up some oat milk, a little bit of a coconut smoothie from Trader Joe's. I don't really know if that's gonna be good or not, honestly. And some maple syrup. I was gonna do coconut cream, but I saw that little coconut smoothie and it seemed easy, so. Here's the matcha. Whoa. Oh wow, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Drink number two, here's the problem. Water is grossing me out so bad. When I drink water, it makes me just very nauseous but I get really thirsty. Like I just want ice cold water all the time, but then I'll like take a few sips and I'm like, my stomach just, it like almost upsets my stomach. But if I have like lemonade or a different type of drink, it doesn't upset my stomach. So I tried this the other day and it was really good. So I want to do this again. This is filled with water already. Hold, I need to get my powder. Okay. I'm gonna do this Better Greens powder in the water. Peach limeade flavor, it's really good. So this is kind of a win-win because I can get some greens in. I'm just still drinking water. My camera died, guys. I'll charge my camera um, in just a second. So the next clip will be back to my camera. Water, I just put that greens powder in here. And then what we're gonna add, some lemonade. Lemonade has been like my number one Pregnancy, I don't know if you want to call it craving, but just like something that sounds so good to me pretty much all the time. Oh, I didn't even show you how much I put in, but I just put in like, I mean, not a ton, honestly. But just some lemonade to spice things up. 
And then shake this all together. So freaking good. This just like doesn't make me feel sick. It makes me feel just like hydrated and it doesn't gross me out. So that's where I'm at. Here are my two morning beverages. Oh my gosh, this matcha is so good. These are hitting. These are hitting spot. Um, the other thing that I'm adding to my morning routine for the 75 hard thing is tidying up my bedroom every morning, making sure my bed is made and like there's no clothes on the floor, makeup, whatever, all that stuff. Doing a walk or a workout. Today I did the Pilates. Did not go on a walk because it's so, so rainy. Maybe I'll take Lady on one a little bit later. Leaf is actually out of town. Um, this weekend he is on a ski trip with his brothers. So it is just me, the woman of the house. Leif absolutely deserves to go on this trip because he has been my literal caretaker for months now. And I'm finally feeling remotely normal again. I was gonna try and not bring up me being sick um, in this vlog a million times because yes, you guys want pregnancy updates, but it's like, I feel like there's only so much I can talk about just being sick. It just is what it is. It's just nausea, throwing up, whatever, and it's not fun, but I'm like, kind, and I'm kind of still in it, but I'm getting better. And so that's why I feel comfortable vlogging now. But because I've been feeling like that, I've been focused only on the really, really important, like work things and our home, our house is being renovated, obviously. We have a lot going on. And so I've been just trying to focus all, any energy I have on like, the podcast because you know we got to get a podcast out every week and I feel like my YouTube channel has always been even though it's a part of my job it's like a little more just of a fun thing like I enjoy doing and I love to do but you know what I mean it's like if one thing had to fall I feel like it had to be YouTube it's hard to do all of it at once especially if you're very unwell so that's the last time I'll make that disclaimer about being sick hopefully from now on I won't be complaining about that and I will just be feeling a lot better but obviously I'll still give you guys pregnancy updates and tell you how things are going and everything. But yeah, I am feeling good today. So that's amazing. And we will see what else this week brings. I just wanted to show you guys my little morning routine. I'm gonna go charge my camera now. I fully had to order a new camera charger because I'm stupid. I don't know where mine went. My um, table is full of scrapbooking supplies right now because Chelsea and I, when will this come out? I think it'll be out by the time this is already a thing. Um, Chelsea and I made our friend Rachel. It is her 30th birthday this year. And we're going on a little cabin trip for her birthday. It's actually so cute. I should probably show you guys some of the pages. I am obsessed with how it turned out. I'll go get it later in this vlog or something, but I had to fully Amazon order a new charger. I have no idea where mine went and um, I told you guys Leif's out of town. I called him. I was like, do you have any idea where the charger would be? And he's like, we just, like we got a new one kind of recently. It, it was a few months ago because I haven't even really been vlogging. But anyway, point being, I think it might be in my like office area, which is just an absolute uh, disaster right now. And I, it's been on my list for a while to just completely, I need to clean it and organize it majorly. Um, and it's honestly probably going to become like a baby nursery, but not a full on one because we're going to be moving into our new house, but our house probably won't be done in time for the baby. So I don't know if I've even like said in this video that I'm pregnant, if you didn't know, I'm assuming you do just because I've been posting on other platforms and stuff, but you know, and I did my IVF journey thing, but I never like had a video come out that was like, I'm pregnant. So if you're new or if you didn't know, I am pregnant, you guys, finally. And anyway, that's why I've been so MIA. Maybe I already talked about it. I honestly don't even remember, but I'm about to eat some lunch, but I just got the cutest 
little package in the mail. I'm not gonna show you the front because it has my address on it, but it has um, like it has a cute, cute stuff on the front too, but it's from Amber, Amber Filler Up. She asked me for my address and she said she was gonna send me like a Valentine. So she's the cutest person alive. How does she have the time to do this? Um, that will be the mystery of my lifetime and I need to, Chelsea and I wanna have her on the podcast soon because she's just the cutest person ever and our inspo for life. Hence why we're in our scrapbooking era, honestly. She's a huge inspiration for that. Oh my gosh, stop it. What is this? We're live reacting. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. Bye. Look at this, you guys. It says, JC Marie, I'm so happy for you. Just popping up to say, be my Valentine. And this, stop it right now. Happy Valentine's cutie. Look how small this is, a little tiny card. Okay, cool, won't focus. Stop it. Why is she the cutest person? <laughs> I'm obsessed. This is the sweetest thing ever. I need to text her right now. Oh my gosh. How adorable. Um, well, that just made my day. I love February, honestly. I kind of just love the start of the year. Obviously, you guys know I love January because it's my birthday, duh. This was such a special, like, January and just start to the year because obviously now it's our pregnancy and I just love the energy of like a fresh new year. And then I love February because a lot of my friends have birthdays, it's Valentine's Day. It's a short, uh, I almost said year, it's a short month, but I feel like it's very just like lovey, girly, Galentine's, fun energy. I've been going to, wait, let me try this really fast. Speaking of Valentine's Day, I got this little, this is like a Valentine's Day shake. Oh my gosh. It's like a chocolate strawberry shake smoothie thing. Ugh, I did order today, you guys, sue me. Not breakfast though, that's my rule. This is lunch. I just really wanted this bowl. It's one of the only like healthier things that I've been craving. I don't know if I'd say craving, just sounds good to me, I guess. It's like a bowl with cabbage and rice and beans and avocado and like it has a lot of actual nutrition in it that I feel like a lot of times I just haven't been getting because I'll just eat like, I don't know, I try, but this is like one of the my favorite healthy things. So I did order this today, even though I'm trying not to order in as much, but I'm excited to eat this. Um, where was I going? Oh yeah. So it was uh, Danny's birthday. Danny and Rachel's birthday are a day apart. So we did a little like charm bracelet slash necklace making, cl uh, not class, but just like party activity. Um, this really cute company sent us charms and uh, bracelets and necklaces. And we each made our own charm. Oh my gosh, am I okay? It's like a tongue twister. And we each made our own charm necklace and stuff. I will show you guys that. I actually wore it yesterday, but I wasn't vlogging because my freaking camera was dead. So anyway, I'll show you guys that also later. But we did that and we celebrated Danny and her husband is like a really good, uh, he's really good at cooking and baking and stuff. And so he made her like this really cute cake. We ate cake, it was really fun. And then the next day I went over to Delaney's. She was like, I'm hosting like a little Galentine's brunch. She surprised us that came to brunch and asked us to be her bridesmaids, which was so fun and so special. And this is like, I'll talk about this more on a podcast coming up, but this is like one of my first in my later 20s, like adulthood. Most of my friends got married super young. I got married super young. So this is kind of just like a fun special experience to like be a bridesmaid and be able to like go to, you know, a bridal shower and a bachelorette party and stuff like that. Um, even though I will be prego, I will still be partying and it will still be so fun. I have those two back to back events and then we're doing Rachel's 30th birthday weekend so lots of fun exciting like girly activities this month which i live for it's so dark gloomy rainy i don't know if you can hear the rain it's not like pouring right now but it's been pouring like all day and it will be for the next few days which is very very rainy so i don't know if you can see it i got a little magnet we don't ever have anything on our fridge but i got a magnet so i could hang up our ultrasound photo it was just like sitting in my office kind of not like crumpled but just like kind of folded on my desk and like, it was never just like hanging in a spot I could see it. So I decided to hang it on our fridge so that we could see it every day. And it will, will remind me when I'm sick, why I'm going through 
what I'm going through. So there's kind of the little life update. I'm excited to keep updating you guys this week. Okay, here's a house update. I'm taking this on my iPhone. Um, <laughs> even more demolished, if that's possible, than before. And here was the kitchen. Here was the living room, or sorry, the dining room, I mean. And look, we're vaulting the ceiling, so they took off all the drywall on the ceiling. It's so nice to see it. It's already gonna look, it's just gonna look so much more open. And then this wall and that wall will be gone, so. Wow, it's kinda hard to envision anything, honestly, for me. Um, these two will be gone, so it'll just be very open, have some exposed beams. It's gonna look so good. The fridge is just chilling. We have it plugged in just in this living room for the contractors to have like water and stuff, but that wall right here is gonna be moved back. They took all the drywall off here. So again, you can kind of see just the actual roof, but that's pretty much it. This bathroom, still terrifying looking. Maybe even more terrifying than before. Like, that is so scary. And yeah, dirt from them digging all in here. They've written some notes down on the walls, things to do, but I don't know. It's just hard to envision, I feel like, anything when a space looks like this, but it is coming along. I just did Pilates. This was my second class back for like months and months. Um, so even though I feel very out of shape, it's kind of comforting because I feel like my form is still there. You know what I mean? Like the muscle memory of doing Pilates very consistently for the past year, year and a half. Um, so that's, it's nice to know like I haven't lost, lost everything, every bit of progress. But that being said, I have to modify a ton of stuff. Um, not even because I'm pregnant, just because I'm like out of shape at this point. So normally when I would um, do like springs on the reformer, I would always choose like the heavy option or the medium option. And I've been just doing the like lightest option available and sometimes just modifying things. Um, all of my Pilates instructors that I've had have been pretty knowledgeable. Well, I've only gone, gone to two classes since, but just at the studio in general, they are like very knowledgeable about pregnancy and postpartum and stuff and doing Pilates, like they know what to tell you to modify, which is nice too. So there were a few things that at the class she was like, oh, maybe don't do this part or if you wanna use this wedge behind your back, like just stuff like that, which is nice. So anyway, I feel good still doing Pilates throughout my pregnancy and I hope I can keep it up more. I love it so much, obviously, you guys know, I'm just, reformer Pilates is the one exercise that I have stuck to that like for the longest I've ever stuck to something. Um, I really do like weightlifting and stuff like that, but I just feel like I gotta definitely ease my way into that, especially um, just given how inactive I have been the past little bit. So anyway, that felt really good. I'm really glad I got to do that. And I have a little podcast meeting in like an hour, so I need to head home. We're recording an episode tonight. Probably should go over to our house. If you guys saw that um, progress finally, so exciting. I feel like stuff is actually finally happening. So we need to probably go over there like daily just to kind of make sure everything's going according to plan and that, I don't know. I've just heard you kind of have to like, not micromanage, but you want to be involved in a lot of the steps um, when your house is getting renovated, just so something, you know, you don't come over and you're like, wait, no, like, why did you guys take out this wall or whatever? They have specific plans from our architect that they're going off of, so I feel like everything's gonna be hopefully pretty seamless, but just from what I've heard from any of my friends who have built homes or renovated homes, they're always like, you wanna like be there a lot to make sure that things are going as planned. So we'll probably head over to our house, maybe after my podcast meeting, and we'll see if there's anything new to update you on. Hi. Sorry about my dog. <laughs> okay, another house update. Um, we're shocked. I know it is. Uh, so this. The wall right here. Yeah. It's gone now. If you thought this house was demolished before. <laughs> Now it really is. So this is the kitchen, you guys know. And yeah, 
It's all taken apart. There's holes, in the ground. holes everywhere. For new footing. And there's just crap everywhere. But they already, they did so much work. We did not expect this actually, because we haven't been here in like two days. And it's been super rainy, so I didn't think they were doing a lot of work, but they clearly are. There was a full wall right here. They moved it back. They moved it back. It's gonna be doors right here. F little French door situation. It's an entryway to the hall right here. We moved that. And they framed right that. And then... Framed all of this up. Move this wall back. Look at all this dirt. It was right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they moved all of this. And then they literally took apart this entire room. This is this is, this is gonna be where <laughs> that's where the floor starts. Bed right here. I hope these should, this footage isn't shaky. Careful, geez. There's a bunch of holes in the wow. whole house. Oh my gosh. This is wide view and it looks funny. Anyway, this is where we're doing the addition. So they're gonna move the house, <laughs> move the house, move that bus. No, they're gonna extend the house. You know, I think I've told you guys about that, but they're starting to like redo plumbing and everything. Cause this is gonna become our bathroom. Whereas before this was the bathroom and this was all sectioned off. You guys, it wasn't attached to this room, but they made this all everything. This is going to become our closet and also an extension right here. So there is a lot happening. Sick. I do wonder why they kept that. Maybe just. They're probably using it. Well, they just did a porta potty. Yeah, like so there's a porta potty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a little. Yeah. Anyway. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Probably because th there's just been like nothing going on here for months because we were waiting for permits and now a lot is happening. We're actually shocked. We shocked. walked in, we were shocked. We probably shouldn't be shocked. shocked. We should probably be on top of this. But... Well, it's literally only been two days. Probably they switch. slay. Um, we're gonna start now be being over here a lot more. Yeah. Now that they're actually doing stuff. Um but like nothing has been happening forever. They would just be like, oh, we're just doing more demo. And we've been in contact with them, but it they did a lot the past few days. Did he show that this is where the bathroom is gonna be? Yeah. A wall right here, extended. Tub, shower, toilet, sinks, the door leading out. So exciting. Okay, this is like a makeshift door because our entryway is gonna now be over here. It used to be over there. That used to be the door, but now we're moving all that over here. And this is kind of cool to be able to see because we are going to have um, like this connect to the garage as a little hallway, which before the garage never connected to our actual house. Um, it was just completely detached and separate and the laundry was in there. And now this is gonna be a hallway that's like in our actual house to our garage, which I think will be so nice. And we, in the plans, we do not have this ceiling vaulted, but now that I'm seeing it vaulted like that, I just asked them if we could keep it vaulted. So we're gonna have to make an adjustment in the plan, but I think it will just look so much more open if we keep it like that instead of leveling it out. You can kind of start to see what it would look like. Little hallway with this opening and then go into the garage. And right now there's the laundry in the garage, but um, we're moving that to our primary closet, actually. We're gonna have our washer and dryer stackable in our closet, so that we don't have to come outside or come out into our garage to do laundry. But yeah, it's looking torn apart. This is gonna be the primary bathroom, bedroom. The addition will be right there. And then seeing the ceiling faulted is making me so excited. We're not gonna have as much space. This is a little taller than the ceilings will actually be, but it will open up the space so much. They also got rid of that kitchen wall. So this is gonna be kitchen and living room and it'll be so much more open. Oh, so excited. We are in Pine Top. We made it to the cabin. We are here for Rachel's birthday. 
Um, wow. Getting here was quite, quite the journey. Chelsea and I got on an early flight, so we flew to Phoenix and then we drove to the cabin, which is like three, three and a half hours away from Phoenix. I also just got ready, put a little bit of makeup on and it was kind of a dark room and I feel like my bronzer is <laughs> maybe, needs to be blended a little more. We got, we woke up at like 4.30 a.m., got on a flight at 6.30, I think was when the flight left or maybe earlier, I don't remember. And then we flew into Phoenix, Ubered to my parents' house because we were gonna use their car to drive up to the cabin. And then we had, we had a cake made for Rachel that ended up being in a different place than we thought. So we drove like 45 minutes to get the cake and then we drove the three and a half hours to Pine Top where I got a criminal speeding violation. Amazing. Um, we will talk more about that on the podcast because I can't. It was just a crazy day and then we got here and just I think with the change of altitude and weather and the long travel day, I was not feeling very well on top of pregnancy. So I was throwing up um, <laughs> that night and wait, was that last night? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I feel like we've been here forever. I feel like I've lived like a million lives since then. But anyway, so yeah, that was last night. I was just not feeling well, throwing up. I went to bed a little early. I felt really bad because we're doing birthday festivities for Rachel's 30th. That's why we're here and I'm like, I literally cannot hang. So I tried to rally for a little bit, put my PJs on. We took a few little photos and I, anyway, I went to bed early. But the good news is I slept pretty well last night and then I woke up and I felt a lot, lot better this morning. So we went to breakfast and we've just been having a cozy day because it's been snowing. But we just got into our little snow outfits. Look at these cute moon boots that I got. I've never owned a pair, but they are so comfy and um, they're obviously good for the snow. I didn't have any like... I have no cold weather outfits really. Chelsea and I are twins. We'll show you guys our outfits in a second, but we're gonna go to a little coffee shop, get caffeinated. I'm probably just gonna get like a hot chocolate, honestly, because it's a little later in the day now and I don't wanna be, I don't want it to keep me up, but um, we're gonna do that and then go do, have a little snow adventure, take some photos maybe. We'll see what else the rest of today brings. Chelsea and I are staying in the bunk room. I'm sleeping here, she's sleeping in this bunk and there are five of us, right? Yeah, there are five of us here. The cabin actually fits a lot of people because there's a lot of bunks. So I forget how many people it fits, but um, it like definitely comfortably fits us all. And so that's been really nice. And there's three bathrooms too, which is really nice. So anyway, um, I need to give you guys like a little cabin refresh. I feel like I have not been here in so long. I think the last time was two Thanksgivings ago that I came here. So it's been a minute, but... I love it here, it's just so cozy, and maybe I will actually show you guys a little bit around right now. Here's our snow gear. We're doing like ninja. Yeah, we're both in all black outfits, snow boots, and headbands, and gold earrings. We're and twins. Silver. I was just saying, you can't really tell in this, but these blacks are kind of different colors. Chelsea's is like a whole suit. Bump suit. Bump suit, I need one of those. Yeah. Mine's like a, skims top and then just like Lululemon leggings. And so the blacks are kind of different, but I wonder, who cares? Not me. Well, here's the kitchen of the cabin. I was just telling them how we run, I shouldn't say we, I was not involved really in much of the work, but um, the cabin was renovated. Um, and this used to be the ceiling right here. And they bumped it up all the way. And so it just makes such a huge difference. It's making me excited for my house renovation, but not that mine's ceilings are gonna be that tall. Here's our little birthday banner we got for Rachel. Got this waiting for her. She, we're gonna do cake and presents tonight and she's gonna open her scrapbook. Don't ask me what that is, I'm pissed off about it. Really like a grease stain or something, cool. She hasn't opened it yet, so it's so cute. We'll maybe get her reaction tonight. And we also got her little birthday girl banner and yeah. Here's the coffee shop we're going to. Thank you. What? This is so cute. I got hot chocolate. We've made it to where you ask. We don't know. We just pulled over to take take a few little snowy photos. I wanted to wear a black puffer jacket with this outfit, but I did not have one. And then I was like, oh, Chelsea, can I wear yours? But she's wearing it today. So I'm gonna maybe wear it for a photo, but I had to I had to put something else on. So this doesn't really match with my outfit, but that's okay. Okay guys, it is dinner time. We just got ready. 
my dress is actually so pretty. I wish you could see it a little more. Um, I love it though. It's like a long sleeve kind of flowy pattern dress, but this coat over it because it is freezing. So we're gonna go eat some pasta and we'll come home and open presents and do the cake and everything. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Hopefully we can smooth. There's a little, like, just so you know, there's like a little crack on it. We don't know why. How dare you guys? <laughs> um, should we, should we take the top off so she can see? This is the birthday girl's reaction to the birthday cake. Oh my gosh. We're double vlogging. We're, te we're team vlogging. <laughs> oh my god. Tiered? Oh my god. Isn't it so cute? Oh my god. Yeah, you should take the sides down. I'm like, oh, I'm ripping. I know, we're we do. busy, so how do I do it? <laughs> I'm like, how do I do it? I think you just like. Because I, I want to take it back with me. Let them eat cake. Look at that. Wow, 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 wow. So wow. It like might be the cutest cake that we've ever gotten. We've yeah. ever gotten. I'm honored. It's like, it's like a princess cake. How the heck, Peroni? <laughs> Are we Tweedledee and Tweedledum? Yes. <laughs> yes. This entire day we have been. Oh, yeah, yeah, got it. Okay. Oh my god. <gasps> you don't think I'll be able to hold it? It might be heavy. Yeah, I think so too. I think we should take this away. <gasps> so Happy cute. birthday to so you. you. I'm going to out a little. Cutie. Cute. Oh, it's While the snow was falling from the trees. A lot of snow. We were just out there and it was falling so much from the trees. We're like, wait, if one of these hits us on the head, it would hurt so bad. I don't think it would like kill you, but it would hurt really bad. We are about to do some antiquing. Here's my fit for the day. I'm borrowing um, Rachel's leather jacket. Just a cozy little outfit. We went to that coffee shop again. Uh, this morning got some matcha got some breakfast and we just came back and chilled for a little bit We are gonna go to some antique shops and also go to a Mexican food restaurant That's the plan. And then we'll probably come back and chill more. All the antique shops were closed So we did not go to any of them because it is the weekend and some of them were closed for like bad weather or something So anyway, um, we went to Goodwill that was open. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home Actually, I really didn't get anything cool at all. So maybe I won't show you I just got a few t-shirts for life and a few little baby clothes, but that's about it. Anyway, we're gonna go back home to the cabin and have a cozy, cozy night. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. I'm like, I want you all to blow the things. Like, well, like, we Okay, I do. We might as well just, like, make all of these and then you guys can, someone can take them if, you know? Yeah. Just transfer them to the camera. Oh, 
cutting the cake. cake. I'm gonna plate it up. I need to get these um, cookies out potentially. Um, let's see what they're looking like. Oh yeah, it's baby girl. Piece. Yum. Wait, do we feel like those are two? No, 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 no. Oh, that's good. Cookies are done. Just took them out of the oven. They're gonna be so good. We're doing double dessert tonight. We got cake and cookies. Wow. We did a little funfetti cake with vanilla frosting, right? Is that what we ended up with? I think it's strawberry cream cheese. Oops, that's mine, I guess, because I, well, is that the biggest one? I just freaking put my finger in it. No, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and then I cut the belly. I can't. Aww. What if you want to try your hands? Not to be dramatic, but those are some of the best cookies that exist on this earth. I'm really, I'm biased, but also they're so freaking good. And at both of our cabins in Pine Top, we have these little containers with the homemade cookie dough balls in them, and you can just make them so easily. And they are so freaking good. They're brown butter chocolate chip cookies, homemade. We got some oat milk in here. I wish you guys could could taste these with me. I wish you could experience this happiness. I am home from Arizona. I had a super long travel day yesterday. So did that road trip again, a few hours to Phoenix. And then I think I might've already said this, but uh, Chelsea and I took my parents' car because they were out of town. And so they let us take their car. So we had to drive their car from Pine Top to Phoenix. And then we had to Uber from their house to the airport and then we took the flight. And anyway, I got home kind of later last night and I just showered and went straight to bed because I was super tired. And now it's the next day and Leif and I are just doing kind of playing catch up. I have some work stuff and a lot of house stuff to do. I really need to get our doors and windows uh, officially ordered for our new house. Oh, it's so hard to make just these like definitive decisions and also a lot of stuff just takes so long. I found this front door that I really like on Facebook Marketplace. And so I'm messaging back and forth with the girl right now trying to make sure that the measurements are right and that we can use it and that it's gonna like swing the right way and whatever with our plans that we have for the house. So I might get the front door off of Facebook Marketplace, but the other doors were like, we went to this lumber store and picked some out that we like. So we're trying to get those ordered and progress just keeps going even since I was gone for the weekend. I went to the house this morning with Leif and I was like, how it's so, so much more is even, if it's even possible, it's even more demolished. Like every time I go, I'm just like, oh wow, we're just, the house is gone basically. They took out that side, like the side of the house that is gonna be the addition. They like completely demoed that and they've been working on doing the concrete slab and extending the house. So now they're getting going on the addition, which is really exciting. Everything's moving along and yeah, it's just really, really, nice that things are starting to progress. So there is a lot to do, a lot of decisions to make, and I'm just keeping busy with that. My um, office room that I've like, I honestly, I never vlog in there and the reason is because it's like a junk room, which I so badly do not want to have a junk room in our new house. And I'm like, I feel like everyone has that room, that closet, that drawer, like, Everyone that I know has like a junk area where it's just like things accumulate. Mine is an entire room at this point. But the thing is, is that we're gonna change, we're gonna turn that room into like a, just an, a, a nursery, but not, like I know we're not gonna get much use out of the nursery in this house, but we, our house will not be done by the time that our baby comes. And so that room needs to be completely cleaned out and decluttered. And I just wanna have like a dresser and maybe a rocking chair, like some stuff in that room that we can put the baby stuff, like diapers and you know, just, I don't expect them to like sleep in there or anything cause they'll sleep next to us for the first little bit. So we'll have like an official nursery in our new house that will be like cuter and I'm trying to plan for that as well. And like, I don't even know what I've been trying to pick kind of some, some vibes for that. But again, the house is demolished so we don't really need to think about all the finishes quite yet. Anyway, I'm just like rambling, but basically I need to declutter that room and it, is got, it has gotten so bad. It's really bad. It's like there is stuff everywhere. Maybe we'll do that in the next vlog. Oh, I don't know. That's a task that I've been really putting off and I'm always like, oh, when I feel better, I'll do it because it really is up to me. Like Leif can help me, but I feel like 
a lot of it is just my stuff that's accumulated and it's like I need to be going through it, see what I want to keep, see what I want to donate, get rid of, whatever. A lot of random stuff to do, but I'm happy to be back on YouTube, happy to be back vlogging. It has seriously been forever. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I really miss YouTube when I don't vlog. It's like a piece of my my like heart and soul is missing, it feels like, because I really enjoy vlogging. So thank you guys for all of your patience and all the love on the announcement and everything since this is like my first vlog back. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss out on lots of, lots of updates coming soon. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.